Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Biotime again. Stan Gravoff filling in for Jason DeGate tonight. Glad to be here. We are going to open up the phone lines for about the first 40, 45 minutes of the show, and then we're going to get into some of our guests who are coming on. And the lines are all busy. And when I say busy, they're light, lit up. So let's try this. Here we go. Hi, you're on Biotime. Hello, Stan. Hey, how you doing? Is this Herman? Yeah, this is me. Herman, you're my number one guy, man. You're the first guy who called in. How you been? I've been doing all right. Good, good. Good to hear from you. Tell us the latest news with you. Uh, I've been, uh, we in Bowling right now. Oh, very good. If, if For you folks, you viewers out there, Herman calls in occasionally. Herman is with Special Olympics and has represented our state and our parish here in Terrebonne Parish on a national level. So what's happening with bowling? Sounds like you're bowling right now. Yeah, no, it's uh, people in the background talking. Very good. So what's what's the latest? Uh, we, uh, we're bowling 13 weeks at Bowl South right now. Very good. Do y'all have any kind of like a regional or a state competition uh, coming it's up? A, it's a... Uh, it, it's a, uh, it's an area, it's an area, it's good. A like an area turning. Good. Uh, How, how's Jeffrey doing? I hadn't heard from Jeffrey, Jeffrey in a while. Jeffrey's doing good. He's been doing all right. He's, he's been worrying. He's been uh, thinking about y'all and uh, telling all the good stuff y'all about y'all doing and stuff and everything. Very good. Well, I haven't talked to you for a while, and I know it's a little bit of sports, and as most viewers out there know, I, I'm the sports guy. I'm just coming in and filling in for Jason tonight, but uh, I got to tell you, last time I talked to you, you said the Lakers had it all wrapped up. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, they just fell apart all of a sudden since so Dallas won it, so I was going for Dallas to beat the Heat because I I could stay in Miami because uh, kind of put a LeBron James fan and no. We were on the same page with that one. I, I was happy to see. Uh, I was happy to see Dallas come through and win that. But uh, what, do you think, what do you think? Are we gonna have football this year? What? Uh, you know what? I, I I'm going with what a lot of people are saying that we probably won't have like half a season. Then it'll start in November sometime because we just won't put up with it too much. Uh, I really don't. I can't see us starting the season. I certainly hope I'm wrong. I understand that the NBA has a better agreement right now to get things going than what the NFL does. So, uh, yeah, it, it's a situation. They're getting ready to have a lockout too. Yeah, you better uh, you better like college football if you want football at the beginning of the season. Of course, I'm a big high school football guy. So, oh yeah, I like LSU. Yeah, as long as I got my high school and college football, I'm okay. Yeah. But I think LSU's going to do good this year. And I hope so. I hope so, Herman. Well, I'll tell you All what. Right, Herman, thanks for calling, buddy. We're I, gonna... I don't mind calling when you're on the air. Because, <laughs> uh, I like to talk to y'all. All right. Thanks, Herman. All right, Stan. All right. Let's move on. Hello, you're on by a time. Stand the plane, grab one. Oh, it's good to hear you. You know, the last time I was on, this is Tricky Ricky, huh? Well, yeah. They told me you were ill. Yeah, I'm still ill. Oh, you're not doing good? Yeah, but I don't want to get into it. It's all bad news. <laughs> okay. But, uh, What's this? I, I wanted this, my topic to be about the cigarette tax and this tax. What I told you last time we talked. Ain't that just Peachy King? <laughs> uh, they, they're going to, uh, no matter what happens in the uh, government, it looks like they're going to get this thing through some kind of way, huh? Oh, yeah, they're going to do what they want with our money, and you can't do a damn thing about it. Yeah, but that's just Peachy King. Well, you know, my job here is to let you guys speak your mind, and you always have a viewpoint on this type thing. And uh, Well, here's my viewpoint. Okay. Didn't they just say they was going to take funds out of something to help this something? Ain't that kind of like robbing Peter to pay Paul? <laughs> Ain't that why we in the shape we in? Because of what they're doing today, tomorrow? Well, I, I really like this statement, and I'm not sure, you know, exactly who this lady is, but there's a, one lady from the northern part of the state who said, uh, she, she got up on the uh, floor and said, we're making this so hard to understand that our constituents out there don't even know what's going on. Her name is Jane Smith. She's from Bossier City. And I was thinking, boy, she's right, because this thing is, is just getting so muddied up that uh, I'm not quite sure what's going to happen with all of this. Yeah, well, I agree with that lady myself. It's getting so muddied up, and it's getting so hard to understand. Uh, uh, I, guess, I guess a rocket scientist has got to figure this out instead of the average Joe that pays taxes that hires people or elect officials 
to do the right thing, and yet here they go again. You're right. Let me back up just a little bit for the viewers out there that might not quite know what's going on. Of course, it's been in the news the last couple of days. Uh, Governor Bobby Jindal vetoed the concept, and the House failed in its attempt to override the effort to renew a four-cent tax. So yesterday, the House members approved an amendment to a bill that originally redirected money from the state's tobacco settlement to the TOPS College Scholarship Program. So it looks like it's going to come back up, and that's going to be interesting of how they're going to you know, get all of this through. And uh, in other words, the veto didn't work, so they're finding maybe a loophole to get this back through. Now, in your opinion there, Tricky Ricky, you think they should have this four-cent sales tax on, uh, on the cigarettes? I'll be honest with you. <coughs> the thing is, about the four cents, yeah, they could have it. I could care less. I have to quit smoking. Okay. <laughs> One of the things I got is lung cancer, so I had to quit. So don't bother me a darn bit. Okay. But the thing is, they're going to take that four cents up. They're going to take that Achilles heel off of people with vices that's already got a gam uh, not a gam problem, a smoking problem, and they're going to pick on them people to their dying day. But yet they ain't going to help them when they die of emphysema or cancer. But they're going to want to tax the cigarette when they could be taxing themselves instead of having a, let's say, a $400,000 gymnasium for Congress. They don't want to throw taxes on cigarettes and alcohol. Right. They don't want to help. They want to help the, the people with their own money, but yet they want to get all the people's money and go have a, a whole glorious time at some kind of gym they cost. I do I do. They want to. So tax dollars on trips to wherever President Obama goes to. They want to take the money out of the people that put the money into their Social Security tax for cost of living, but yet they want to go upon the vices of the poor people of the world. Right. Why right. can't they just limit the, the trips, limit the uh, dollars they give Iraq and Iran, and fix our own backyard? Well, you, you mentioned that, and ironically enough, and this was not on any of the dockets or the topics tonight, uh, President Bush's wife, uh, uh, excuse me, President Obama's wife, Ms. <laughs> Obama is actually on a trip right now in Africa. And sometimes I think the wife of our president does have to be an ambassador for us, and she's there. I did notice her mother with, was with her there, and there, look, I don't make any judgment that that she is not paying her own way to go or anything, but it does cause you concern to wonder where some of our monies are going, and uh, they very well could be doing a great job as uh, making a safe haven for us here in uh, America by doing these type things. But you're right, there's so many things that go on. By the way, I just grabbed this off the side, and I was noticing, and Martin did say this yesterday, when it, when it pertains to tax on cigarettes in the United States of America, when you look at all 50 states, the highest, the number one tax state on cigarettes is New York, $4.35 a tax on a, on a pack of cigarettes, $4.35. Louisiana is number 49. So out of 50 states, we're 49 at 36 cents. So we don't have a big tax on cigarettes. I'm not quite sure that that's... Uh, here nor there, but it is very low in Louisiana. Well, we got a dollar thirty something cents on a pack of cigarettes right here in Louisiana. That's a shame. Well, I got to tell you. government control it kills people in the long run. It causes cancer, emphysema, but yet they're going to tax it. Uh, well. You know, and I don't want to throw Martin into the fire, but he once told me and the people of the trial parish, yeah, that's something I forgot to ask him yesterday, because he could tell I was going to kind of get to the point. But the thing is, he was supposed to come up with a chalkboard about all our local politicians, whether it be congressmen, statesmen, state representatives, of what they made, what they do for this state, and how much they make in now. How much is their hand in that cookie jar? But he forgot to put the board up for the people, of, you know, to show the people, as well as myself, what these people are taking in and taking out for doing what job. Wow. You know, what job they doing? Yeah. They, they're robbing Peter to pay Paul, and down the line, somebody's going to be mighty upset when that, when that money ain't in that fund for what it was meant to be for. Well, hot off the press. Uh, but, J but like I said, I wish Martin would put that chalkboard up there to show the people at Tri-Pass which I know he's busy. 
but he needs to do that because he said he would. Yeah, yeah. So with that in mind, I, I got, I'm, I'm going to leave it at that. But uh, I'm going to give me a shout-out to Martin. All or right. Martin Fowles. With uh, that chug brought up, Bobo, we want to know. All right, Tricky. Thanks for calling right. in, man. Talk to you later. I got hot off the press, thanks to Jason Serigny, our producer. Very interesting from the Associated Press. Here we go. C cigarette tax and TOPS funding stalled in Senate. So this just happened. The extension of a four-cent cigarette tax has stalled in the state Senate as lawmakers and the Jindal administration remain at odds about the tax renewal in the last few days of the legislative session. The House attached the tax extension to a Jindal administration bill to redirect a stream of tobacco settlement money to the state's free college tuition program called TOPS. And by the way, I love TOPS. Just had two children graduate college, and TOPS was uh, very, very beneficial to me. Governor Bobby Jindal opposes the renewal, describing it as a tax increase. But he said Tuesday that he doesn't want to jeopardize the TOPS funding bill. He declined to say specifically whether he is asking senators to strip the tax amendment from the bill. Senator John Alario, a Republican who sponsored the TOPS bill, says he is unsure whether he will agree to the House tax add-on. So it's stalled. It's, it's kind of sitting there right now. That ought to bring up some interesting converse, uh, conversation. Let's go back to the phone line. Hello, you're on by time. Hello. Hey, how are you? Uh, pretty good, pretty good. Good. Your topic that you would like to talk about tonight? Well, that tax. <laughs> that tax, huh? Just like Tricky Ricky was just saying. They want to pass a four cents tax. They tagged it on to this top bill. And I live in an area, I got 14 people down this road. And we, none of them go to college. So why should we pay taxes? to send somebody else's kids to, to college. So you're saying it didn't directly apply to you, you know, so uh, I, I wonder if it should be where it's a majority type situation. Well, I don't know. I mean, they're taking a chance. People with, without kids in college, they ain't going to vote for this bill. You're they're right. They're taking a very big chance. I don't think it's, I don't think it's ever going to get on the ballot to be, not what we're hearing there, where, right here where it's stalled. So I don't think that's even something that we'll probably see on a ballot anywhere uh, coming up soon. I, I, I can't imagine that it would be from, from what well, this says. Well, the first thing about it, why they always want to tax the smokers? Well, it's always that vice there. Why don't they tax the golfers, the ones who play golf? Ooh, a, dollar <laughs> uh, you're a dollar right. hole. A dollar hole. I mean, I don't play golf. I have nothing against people who play golf. I'd be broke. Okay. <laughs> You, your kids are going to college. Mine's are not. Right. I paid to go to college. There were no top programs then. Why should we supply money to send people to college? Well, you know, yeah, you know I think it's a deal where the state is just trying to, uh, if you look at other states in our union, there are a lot of states that do these things to try and get our people to stay I in our state. I have nothing against higher education. No, no, but I mean to stay in our state. now, Because if you don't do this in the comparison of a kid maybe going to school right here at Nichols State or going to school at UL Lafayette or LSU or Southeastern, they would go maybe to Mississippi and we'd never well, see. Well, i tell you we, what. We're, we're trying to reinvest in our state, I think, when they try uh -huh. and do these things. i tell you what. If a college can't sustain itself, it, it shouldn't be open either. Well, that's all. The UNO, they, they have a 19% uh, graduation rate. The state is paying all kind of money to keep that college open with a 19% graduation rate. But you're talking what about... What these kids do, they get these grants, and they take a little course for about four or five months, they get their money, and they quit going. Yeah, but that's SUNO now. That's not UNO. They're trying to combine those two schools, but... Uh, well, I, SUNO, right. Right, and I, I don't... I don't. Because I've seen it in the chemical plants. These women go get these grants, they get the money for it, they go five or six months to college and keep the money, drop out after. And it's our tax money going to that. So you're saying something like tops, as long as the money's there, those kids will use it, but as soon as uh, they don't have it anymore, you don't see them in college anymore. As soon as they get their grant money in, they quit going. They quit going to school. Then they apply for another grant in the following semester. Well, the ironic thing about everything as far as the cigarette tax goes is, is people 
really would have thought that the the governor may have been one as a proponent of that tax and uh he is not. It doesn't matter what the tax is and what it's on. I'm against all taxes. That's that's exactly his stance. When you see tax, you're giving away your freedom. That's exactly you his know, stance. If you want something, you should pay for it. Right. You know? It, it, that's your problem. I mean, if I want a yacht, I'm going to go pay for it. They, they should tax yachts because I like yachts. Just like golfers. I don't like to play golf. But they ought to tax, if you're going to tax the smoker or the drinker or the gambler, they ought to tax the golfer too. A but, dollar a hole. That's very cheap. A dollar a you hole. You know? Yep. That, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, for education, let's do that. And another thing I don't like neither, they keep taking off of this tobacco money to use for other things. <laughs> this tobacco money was given to smokers. It's supposed to be for the health of smokers. I wonder if Winston or whatever would send a lawyer down here and put a suit against the state of Louisiana because they're not using the money for what it's used for. Our representatives in Congress um, and should cut, like Kennedy said, and de Richard voted to cut government. That's their problem. They don't want to cut the government. These deadheads have been in there for years. They need to get rid of some of them. And that's the way it is. I mean, they, 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 they don't want to cut no, none of their friends and stuff. Right, right. And meanwhile, the taxpayer pays for that. And I hope the Saints get that get it gone this week with that contract. With that, I'm gonna close tonight. All right, thank you, sir, for giving us a call. Thank you. All right, got to take a commercial break. Got the lines lit up. You guys stay on the line. We will be back right after this.